guys, this is uh, my version of living in a camper van part time. This is my first night, Saturday night, and uh, it's amazing how warm and how quiet it is inside the van. I have no heating on, the van's been parked up all day. My iPhone says it's 12 degrees outside and should be 12 degrees all night. Inside I'm about 20 degrees according to my little thermometer, which is uh, pretty good. Front windows are a little steamy and I haven't bothered to put the insulation covers up or my curtain. But I have pulled the curtain at the back of the van. I'm parked on a main road. You can hear cars going past perhaps every now and again. Um, this is possibly the worst possible place you could park right on the side of a road. Um, cars going past. The air wobbles the van a little bit if they're going really fast and get really close. But uh, yeah, fairly quiet. Now I just went to charge my phone using the 12 volt system and my leisure battery and I think I heard um, the fuse blow, one of the 60 amp fuses that protects the uh, leisure battery. I wasn't trying to use the inverter, I was going direct into a little uh, 12 volt cigarette style socket that I had installed in the back and uh, I could smell a little bit of burning so it's uh, I'm pretty sure it's a fuse has blown caused by the iPhone charger uh, which is like a cigar lighter style charger on one end and iPhone 4s charger on the other end um, so uh, I have to check the fuse in the morning when it's light and um, perhaps avoid using that particular socket for charging my phone unfortunately I have unfortunately I haven't brought my um, normal charger as so I could plug that into the inverter um, and, uh, and see if it's getting a charge uh, I have a fuse actually on either side of the leisure battery so one between the leisure battery and the inverter and one between the leisure battery and the starter battery and there's a, um, a little smart relay in this system as well so um, I shall see in the morning once I check to see if that's a, one of the main fuses has blown and uh, it's all about trialing it out hence the part time side of things living in a camper van part time. One of the first tests I'm doing tonight is just seeing how uh, how comfortable the bed is that I've made inside the camper. It's um, a little platform bed with a couple of hatches in to get to storage underneath and I've um, got a big sleeps 250 GSM sleeping bag um, an extra wide one which provides some nice comfort just got it in Argos about 20 quid and for um, a mattress I'm using um, an exercise mat I can't remember the, the make of it perhaps I'll uh, do a review of it soon but it's um, 60 centimeters by 180 centimeters and it folds into three so it folds down to 60 by 60 and then moves out of the way so that I can access the hatches in the actual top of the base to get into the stuff I've got stored. So far it's comfortable and uh, I can hear, just hear people walking past the van now. Probably have no idea there would be someone sleeping in a van. I'm basically in the middle of town I'm in Dover although I'm in a unrestricted parking space so this is where I usually park the car. It's, uh, it's a 
about a quarter of a mile from where I live. Um, where I live is restricted parking, uh, it's town centre. So this is where I generally leave my car. And um, people have just walked past now. And even though there's a bit of light shining in the front of the van, they've, um, they've no idea I'm in here. Hi guys, another thing I'm testing in the van tonight is um, the alarm system. Um, I had no idea of how it would work, and whether it locks or whether it's got a motion sensor inside. But I jumped in the back of the van, locked the back door, and then I used my key fob to lock the van. Heard all four doors lock, and um, the little lights by the front doors are flashing every couple of seconds to indicate the alarm's active and despite me moving around in the van leaning over the front seats um, I even wound the window down a centimetre just to let a little bit of uh, prevent a little bit of condensation let a little bit of fresh air in it hasn't activated anything so it seems there's no sort of motion sensor in the van uh, which is good which means that I can have van securely locked and not get any surprises in the night if someone tries the door and tries to open it. 